Namaste, Soul Tribe. Welcome to the speaker card reading. Those are messages from your past self. This is connected to the Mercury going and transiting the sign of Sagittarius before it goes into retrograde. Okay, so November 2nd all the way to November 24th, where we'll have that retrograde that starts. But let's first address those messages for this transit. We're going to pick those three cards. Okay, let's see what the past self want to share with you, my dear ones. If you like to choose according to your zodiac placement, I strongly suggest your Mercury placement. Okay, now you can choose any other placement, but because it's connected to Mercury, which is connected to the throat chakra when you work with your life force, I strongly suggest that you pick your natal placement. Okay, let's see what we have here. One, two, and three. All right. Mercury is connected in the tarot to the magician card. Okay, so let's see what the voice of your past self wants to share. You know what? Before we turn them, I want to associate those zodiac placements okay okay up there we go <laughs> nope <laughs> there we go all right perfect so pile number one we have pisces let's first look at the zodiac sign sagittarius leo and taurus okay pile number two we have aries we have cancer we have Gemini and we have Virgo, pile number three. We have Capricorn, we have Aquarius, we have Libra, and we have Scorpio. Okay, let's look at those cards. Pile number one, the healing stones, tenderness, care, gentleness, and nourishment. Mm feels like a vortex here nice okay pile number two we have the road is clear you know what to do walk it your way mm. pile number three you have the hidden treasure you're on the right track gift revealed Ooh, that's exciting all right that's what we have, okay? Power one, two, and three in those zodiac placement. I will see you there for the messages from your past self. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your messages from your past self. You chose the beautiful card of the healing stones with tenderness, care, gentleness, and nourishment. This card really feels like a vortex of energy. And this is something I've been sharing on my Instagram channel and with people that are doing the cosmic alignment energy sessions with me um, about the vortex breathing that follows the Fibonacci sequence. And I'm going to share it with you. So if some of you like to do breath work, because it seems that maybe some of you, you can open up the gateway between your current self and your past self in terms of communication, because Mercury talks about communication, um, you can use that breath technique. So you inhale once, exhale once. Then two inhales, two exhales. Three inhales, three exhales. And then you jump to five and five. You can just stay up to three if you're comfortable and then go back to one, or you can work to five. The next numbers, if you are you know, uh, advanced in breath work, is eight, and then 13 and then 21, okay? You don't have to go that high and far in a breath to start activating the vortex, okay? So there's something beautiful here with this energy about almost like your heart chakra wanting to come, you know, there's an attunement here of the throat through the heart chakra, through letting all the purified energy flow upward okay so let's see 
where this is going. We're going to keep the zodiac signs. I'm not sure why, but I feel called for it. So we will. So messages from your past self, pile number one. What do we have as far as messages from your past self? Okay. All right. Well, it's a lot of cards, but I'm going to indulge. Okay. Let's see. There's two messages, it seems, or maybe they're just coming in section. So let's see first this one, and I'll put this for later. So first we have the stone. This is interesting with the healing stones. And the sacred geometry here. The mirror. Well, there's a full moon that is coming up in <laughs> Taurus. Okay, November 15. So through this period of time that we're covering, there's something that is going to be mirrored to you. Very strong. You know, Taurus is all about standing in your light, standing in your truth, being steadfast, being patient, being loving. Mm, let's see. The self and the queen. Wow, another full moon with a kundalini activation here and the lotus energy. Okay, you know what I'm, I'm okay, I'm going to indulge because uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. I'm going to say things that I'm like wondering where they're coming from. Um, but I feel that as you're connecting to this pick a card reading, and to your past self, there's a call to merge with your past self. There's maybe a certain block, okay, because of the stone energy. Some of you, you might want to review uh, the goddess and high priestess Medusa. Look it in your chart or looking at where she's transiting. If you are part of the YouTube star family, you know that I cover those uh, goddess and muses energies. So go and check out the Medusa uh, reading. I'm going to uh, put it down below for the description and all the recommendation for the frequencies, but also the readings. So Medusa for pile number one. Okay. Um, It just feels like maybe there could have been a throat block. Something that was blocking your self-expression. Blocking the way you could be expressing yourself from the heart. That's what your past self is trying to speak to you about. A certain throat chakra block. Because we're channeling around Mercury's energy or a communication block that's going to come more clear to you. This is going to be more obvious. Some of you, if you are part of the Starseed Rise Up YouTube star family, I already have the Cosmic Alignment Energy session so you can ease that path of communication with your past self because it seems that there is this very sacred expression of yourself, the queen, and the queen of, I feel, intuition. The queen energy, which is the feminine, the intuition, uh, how to navigate life with more ease, more flow, but especially because we're talking about expression, being able to shine your light and speak your light in alignment with your highest truth. And there's this pearl that is being almost like placed between the heart and the throat. This is kind of the upper uh, heart chakra, the upper heart chakra. And with the pearl energy, I feel that you had a lot of challenges that you're being called to process. You're being called to let go and surrender. I wouldn't be surprised that this is going to make much more sense for you, pile number one, when this full moon comes forward. 
there is communication maybe also your communication with you know the past is also like that ancient self the one that already has the wisdom that or been there done that maybe there was some type of block between uh the communication between your past experiences and your current some type i'm hearing some type of forgetfulness this is interesting. Let's see if the tarot cards can give us some more guidance about this throat chakra. Look at this. We get the mercury. So confirmation, it's in the throat. Okay. Throat chakra block. We have, there's something about truth. We're going to have this uh, mercury retrograde. So this is a shadow energy here. So this, that's why it feels like this is a past event or past uh, lifetime that is trying to communicate with you, pile number one, about certain untruth, certain things that were, I'm hearing unfair, misplaced, displaced. Whoa, that's a lot. We can tell that whole story, but we'll keep that one. And again, look at this. I, I felt the queen of cups with that queen you know what i feel i feel as some of you there's something about you being very loving and having i think a hard time expressing yourself fully Maybe there were some heart walls. I would say go and check out your natal Venus. And my Venus, I'm going to put the last Venus. Uh, there's going to be a new one. So uh, once that's out, I would suggest Venus is going to be in Capricorn November 11th. So that's going to be in the future. But some of you, you could review Venus in Sagittarius. There might be something from this energy because that's Venus in the sign of that Mercury in Sagittarius. So I'm going to put the link to that video and pick a card reading. There's another like clue. It's very interesting, pile number one. I feel that your past self has been communicating with you for a long time and it communicates with you through clues through synchronicities through uh you know number patterns secret geometry maybe certain uh you know symbols maybe certain animal spirit there's definitely here some type of communication that wants to come forward about something that happened in the heart space that created a block and maybe those those cards here are going to give us that second part let's see we have the animal and the unseen wow i feel for you pile number one there's something about your instinct your sharp instinct or picking up on you're being a strong empath here and something that created a block of you maybe speaking up about what you could feel or being censored. I don't know if some of you have Mercury in retrograde or when you were born, there was a Mercury retrograde. Maybe you were born in a shadow uh, Mercury you know, season. Okay. That's something I discovered that I was like five days before, uh, the retrograde started and I like kind of like shocked me, but, um, it made total sense with some of the karma of, you know, what I've experienced. Mercury retrogrades are people that are going to experience a lot of betrayals, a lot of lies, uh, things with the throat chakra that are distorted. And I feel that there was a distortion that occurred for you, pile number one. And through this short, you know, uh, beginning of Mercury in Sagittarius, you're going to be able to have clues little by little. It's almost like your past self is saying, Pay attention to the clues I'm going to drop for you um, because it's going to 
get you back your eyesight. Whoa, you guys! I gotta share this、um, this story because I now need glasses. Not for I don't you know I'm nearsighted, but it's not much. But I remember like it was yesterday when it happened. It was a time in my life. I was about like fourteen, turning fifteen. Yeah, around that time, and there was a lot of drama going on with my parents. There was cheating. There was lying, and when I discovered what was going on,、uh, there was such an emotional shock and impact、um, that that hit me. That I remember like it was yesterday. I just went back to school. Sit. As my usual, all the way back in the class because I didn't want attention. I was very shy.、Um, I just could not read anymore the blackboard. I could not. It just happened, and I remember feeling that I just didn't want to see what was going on. And I feel that there is something here. Maybe that wants to come up for you. Was there something that happened? A lie, a betrayal. Something you could sense that was going on, but you were trying to tell yourself, "No, it cannot be true. It's 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 not it." Or you were told it's not what you think, and that led you to really doubt yourself, or that just led you to just shut off your, some of your senses. Wow, this is like this is deep. Pile number one, you're going to retrieve, you know, a part of your inner knowingness. Because with the animal, it's like it's like it's it's um it's an ability, it's a psychic knowing that you always had, very very empathetic, very much connected to the heart. But there was a lot of things that it seemed that occurred. The stone,、uh, maybe some of you you have some of the past witch's wound,、uh, you know,、uh, trauma in your. Lineage or something you inherited that made you、uh, feel a certain way about your abilities, but I find it very interesting because it's almost like your past self is going to help you retrieve that raw confidence in your inner sight and how you see yourself and how you're able to express it. This is like super. Like I can feel the intensity of that power for you. You feel it? Wow. Okay. Yeah. If you're feeling it, pile number one, give me a little comment below with an I. <laughs> I will know that's you. <laughs> All right. Can we get some guidance as far as healing? Let's see if we have something in particular for you. Pile number one. Some of you that have access to、um, the、uh, all levels of YouTube membership, you can work with the planet Mercury. You know, you could do the mudra of the throat like this. You can chant the seed mantra, which is Ham H A M. That might help you and activate. Wow, I I can't like we've been talking about this ancestral messages connecting belonging ask for help. Your past self, my dear,、uh, part number one, wants to reconnect, wants to reconnect in greater ways and make you see some of the things that you need to remember. Okay, so it could be something like the story I shared. But it has to do with maybe you knew you couldn't talk about a certain secret, a certain event, or you shut your senses off and 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 censored yourself with the speech. There's something here that you did not realize because the the sword comes, you know, it's just very strong. Remember, the, I said I felt the unfairness. You didn't realize that when you shut down that sense, or you try not to feel it. Um, you could have manifest things physically, like I shared, because I, I, it happened when I discovered the secret. I'm like, I remember how, how drastic that moment was because of the way、um, it made me feel. 
it's just like, it's almost like this whole darkness that just came upon me, you know, and I feel like there's something here. Um, you know, when I've said that, the darkness, I felt like I shut down. Okay, so there's, there's something about opening up a gateway of communication, especially through your throat, that is coming for you, my dear pile number one. The way there, let's see if we have, I, I share with you Mercury in, um, in uh, the playlist, but let's see if there's something else that wants to come forward. Okay, we have the pharmacy. Okay, so some of you that in the pharmacy, I have a lot of things, maybe something that angered you, something that depressed you, give you anxiety. Um, I have a lot of different symptoms, something that blocked your heart. Okay, go and check out the playlist. I'm going to list it for you, the pharmacy. But that's something that seems to be um, going to open up with deeper messages but what your past self wants you to be aware there is for this short period of time before it goes in retrograde there's going to be a review so you you're going to start getting clues and then through the retrograde i wouldn't be surprised you're going to learn how to retrieve that power okay um but there's an instinct you didn't realize a raw psychic power that you kind of shut down uh when this event happened whatever that event was Vortex breathing can help you. You can do it with the Mercury retrograde or you can use it through uh, listening to some of the pharmacy uh, frequencies. That's what I have for you, my dear pal number one. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. Please remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your messages from your past self. So you chose the beautiful card where it says the road is clear. You know what to do walk it your way beautiful purple colors and blue very much connected to the throat chakra we're channeling energy for uh and messages for mercury mercury connected to the throat when you work with your life force your kundalini if you chose according to zodiac placement i strongly invite you to choose your mercury placement we have here cancer aries Gemini and Virgo. I'm going to put them aside and let's see what we have for you as far as messages from your past self. Some of you, if you are interested to connect through the Cosmic Alignment Energy Session um, in easier ways, if you're feeling some blocks with communication for your ancient self from past events, past lifetimes, I do have an energy session meant to help and support you okay so let's see what we have messages from your past self i was really impressed by pile number one i cannot wait to see how this reading is going to unfold <laughs> i like your energy here with you know do it your way walk it your way you know there's an encouragement that i can feel here uh from your past self let's see what we have the threshold. Ooh, are you hesitant? Hmm. You see, just on the, the edge. Are you hesitant to take a leap of faith? Let's see. The castle. Hmm. The box. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the mystic. Okay. Very first message that seems to be screaming at me. Some of you, there's something about coming out of the spiritual closet. <laughs> okay. There's a part of you that has spiritually awakened. There's certain gifts that have opened up. And some of you, you know, I have one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions and I see how impressive uh, some people just have an awakening a year ago and how far they come in one year because of, you know, their path and their activation and how they're devoted and invested in that path. I feel that this pile, my dear pile number two, if you have been hesitant to move forward with a certain endeavor that is more connected to the version of you that has awakened to 
you being a spiritual being. This Mercury in Sagittarius, before it goes retrograde and then direct again in Sagittarius, this is like a first phase where you're going to be called to, um, to step out, step outside of your comfort zone, step outside uh, you know, of your own limitations. And with the mystique, that, that there's like something very, and walk it your way. There's an invitation to be uniquely you. So when a planet goes retrograde, we know we're going to be reviewing. So we're not there yet, but that's like a beginning of what your past self is going to, and wanting to share with you as far as this stepping outside of your comfort zone, stepping into the unknown, stepping into a new role I'm hearing, a new role, a new expression of you that has been changed and shifted by the cosmos, by the energy, by understanding that you are a spirit in a vessel. You are God's energy. Okay, so let's get some more details about this threshold and being on the edge, <laughs> the precipice of something. Your past self is saying like, that's it, we need to move forward. We need to move forward with certain endeavors, certain things. Wow, I love those energies for you. Look at you. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. This is a card, you know, that really shows expansion, that really shows going into a different era of your life. And the way you're going to get there, okay, is through rehearsing some of your practice. There's some, there's a certain skill that your past self is saying that you've been practicing or that you have, you, you start like being reactivated in it and it's inviting you to practice it more and more. I'm going to give you an example. I don't know why I'm like <laughs> remembering, uh, early 2023. I don't know what happened to me, but I just felt like I wanted to learn crochet. Okay. I come from a family of seamstresses on both sides of my parents. Okay. And it's like my hands just knew how to do this very quickly, very fast, with very little guidance, I was able to compose my own patterns. And I was like, where is this coming from? And only to re be reminded through, you know, through doing it, I could feel the ancestral in my genes, almost like being activated. So there's something here um, that is through your lineage, that is part of your craft, something that you might think that you don't or it's going to take or it's supposed to take a long time to master but no there's a gateway there's a gateway it's an open road for you to let that energy be channeled okay now it seems that i don't know why but i'm hearing the word visualization visualize yourself visualize yourself in that place where some of you if it's a, a certain business you want to create a certain hobby you want to manifest into a more stable income. Imagine how that feels day to day. Imagine and envision how you would wake up. How does it feel to be that person? Because this is where the magic is going to happen. And your past self is saying, I'm there with you. Some of you, I feel that you're channeling from, uh, you might be activated in your self node. Some of you, if you know how to do this, go into uh, your astrology, your chart, and look at what planets are transiting your south node. I feel that some of you, you're just receiving a lot of activation for the past self to literally come through into the physical vessel. Because you can see here, there's like the, all those pearls. And it's, it's, it's like years and years of practice. Some of you, you might not realize, but the things you think like, oh, I really would like to do this, but I really don't know much about. I mean, I remember when I decided to crochet, I, first of all, I was so clumsy. 
I, I, I was like, how do you use that one thing? And how do you maintain the tension? I was just like, I, I will never be able to do this. But there was a part of me that really wanted so much to do it that just kind of just went for it and spent the time that I needed. But very fast, I had just was able to crochet like really advanced patterns. So that's, that's something that I feel is the first layer of message that through this Mercury in Sagittarius, and there's going to be a retrograde. So I feel that some of you, you're going to be able to see the channel of what that craft is or whatever your call to um, move forward with. And through the retrograde, you're going to be able to uh, to harness and, and refine certain things that maybe in past lives you didn't get to, okay? So let's look at the next layer of that message for you, pile number two. Oh, two cards. Okay. Wow. Soul agreement. Soul mission, soul plan, life purpose. I am not look... Oh, how? What? Okay. This is so weird. I know that now that I look at it, it's all structures from probably within a mountain but i literally thought that those were just souls and people and look at this this is a womb there's something that wants to be born through you and that is going to start through this transit so here we're channeling messages from november 2nd to the 24th there's going to be the retrograde from the 25th to december 15 and then december 16 to january 8th of 2025 there's a gestation here. You're going to like be activated and then review and kind of uh, shape shape a little bit those abilities, but it's taking you. It's calling you to and take you there. I wouldn't be surprised. Some of you, I'm feeling uh, light language activation or realizing that you know it doesn't have to be spoken line language. But some of you, I feel like even your if you're a painter. Like your paintings are light codes. They are activating to the souls of to people. They're speaking to their souls. They're speaking in ways that you might not recognize until you start sharing it. I feel there's something about sharing that might be the part that is locked in the closet. Mm -hmm. Sharing more of yourself and stepping stones. Take the next step, simplicity and focus. Okay, so you're going to be guided. Your past self wants to assure you that I feel as some of you, you already know some of the things that you want to come out with or that you already maybe started to do. Know that your past self is going to guide you step by step. It's here to communicate with you, especially through this phase. Look at this, especially I put this under the mystic. And we're going to get some messages as far as what are the best line of communication with your past self here, pile number two? I am already hearing the answer. It's through the practice of whatever that talent is, okay? It's almost like, yeah, I felt like I was connecting with my great-grandmothers and their inheritance when I was starting to, to do those patterns. And I was like traveling in different places, which was so weird. It was such, oh, look, I mean, what did I say? When you start practicing, whatever that is, and some of you, you know, some people, they don't realize, but when I create my reels on Instagram, I am doing energy work. I know it because it's like, it, it's usually creating this whole flood of energy where I have those like, um, it feels like little sparkles, little inner shivers, because I don't have shivers like physically. I just feel them through my whole body as I'm doing the composition. And it's that, and I know I'm in flow and it, I'm hitting the mark when I feel this. Okay, so I feel that there's something that you need to hear along those lines as far as that receptivity, that receptivity... Uh, of your gift or guidance pile number two let's see some messages here about 
um, the visualization. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know for who that is, but some of you, is it a house? Are you trying to manifest a house? Some of you, it could be that you're trying to manifest your ideal home, owning a home, but whatever is the topic, your past self is saying, you know, aiming at the home here, it's like, it's your temple. You have it in your cells. You have it, it in your DNA. You just need to be present with yourself. Request your past self, ancient self, to come forward and guide you. Claim it, visualize it. The Four of Cups. It's saying you might you, you might feel that you're going you're missing something, but it's because you're using your mind. This is not something that's going to make sense to the mind. I remember when I first started to associate dancing to the cosmos and the astrology. I I don't I honestly don't know what was taking over me, and I know obviously it's the higher self. Most of the time when I even do the astrology forecast, I I tend to like turn off after I do the forecast and I'm like, I don't remember most of what I said and I can't even know if I made sense. And then I watch it and I totally understand and I seem coherent. But when the camera goes on, I just seem to be taken over by this, this, this channel that just speaks through me. And I feel that this is where you might have had in the past a block. And through this, your past self is saying, don't worry, you are the, the road is clear, but we're going to go because there's going to be a retrograde. I'm seeing that vortex. There's going to be a review. So you're going to take, you're going to be led towards where you need to go um, step by step. Okay. And you're going to get that confidence that you might be missing, but it's not going to come from your mind and saying like, oh, I got this. It's more from your emotions. You're going to feel that you got this. Okay. You're going to realize for me, it's still like sometimes like mind blown me that I watch something and I just spoke and I'm like, what did I just say? And then I listen and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's great, Audrey. That was exactly what I, what I didn't know I needed to say. <laughs> okay, so that's what I feel is going on for you and the messages from your past self. Let's see if there is some specific um, frequency for you. There was some guidance for pile number one, or looking at uh, Medusa's transit. Uh, looking at the Venus in Sagittarius, the pharmacy. Let's see if there's something in specific for you, my dear one. We have the aura cleansing and strengthening. Okay, so that might help you get some of that confidence more from your energy body than anything else. Okay, it's your energy body. I wouldn't be surprised here if you have a placement in the second house that could be influencing you. If you do, that could be this, okay? Uh, but it doesn't have to be. All right, let me write this down for you, Aura Cleanser. And I love that Aura frequency because it not only cleanses you from what you absorbed, but it also strengthens. So it's kind of like cleansing from outside, uh, from inside out, and then help you strengthen the barrier so those energies don't come back. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number two as messages. I'm trusting this supported you. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And please remember to like those videos to support the channel to grow. Hi, pile number three. Let's look at your messages from your past self. So you chose the hidden treasure. Ooh la la. You're on the right track. Gift revealed. What are you receiving from your past self? Pile number three. So if you chose according to Zodiac placement, I strongly suggest Mercury, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, it's Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, and Scorpio. Okay, let's move this to the side and let's get your messages. 
So far, I've been really mind blown about those messages. I have to say, I love working with the energy of Mercury for those messages. This is in tarot, the magician card. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Your message with the agape. All right. Look at this. There is, there is, a, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know in which way. There is a strong activation of your kundalini. You see those lines? Vertebrae. Vertebrae, vertebrae. This, your past self is saying, there's the can, oh, wow. I, I, it's almost like every which way, I didn't know which, every which way it's coming to you. It's coming, I feel like almost like the fibers of your bones, the electricity in your nervous system. There's, there's strong Kundalini activation here. This is how your past self is going to communicate and open up this new gateway. Now, Remember one thing, this pick a card where you have messages from your past self is for Mercury in Sagittarius. There is going to be a retrograde. So in that, this is the beginning of a door opening with that communication. And then there's going to be that initiation energy with the past self when we're going to go retrograde and then move forward. That's going to really close that chapter. But I see for you, pile number three, there is some gift that is being awakened. That is so exciting. Can we get some details about this gift and this awakening? Some of you, if you want to get some support and work with energy sessions, sound work, um, breath work, healing, um, I'm doing those cosmic alignment energy sessions. This one is in particular to allow the communication with the past self. So some of you, if you're interested, this will be uh, in the description box just below. Let's see what we have. Sound work. Um, I'm going to list also for the ones that are part of the YouTube star family, all levels, uh, the 33 vertebrae. Uh, I feel that because of all those lines of energies, this is very strongly activated in your vertebrae, my dear ones. So if you want some support through sound, you can activate through that frequency. Look at this, the bridge. Now, this is interesting because there is kind of reaching towards each other. This symbol of the bridge reminds me of my frequency, the rainbow bridge, which is all about healing subconscious uh, heart, wound okay because what i've noticed usually the rainbow bridge is to communicate beyond uh, people that have passed but people that are coming in as souls so it's kind of very uh, of a mediumship between different worlds and when people come to me and they have a hard time communicating with whether a past self or a deceased parent or whoever that is a pet um this is usually because of the heartbreak or the words they speak that do not allow them to communicate. So there's something about Mercury, which is towards the voice. Okay. That needs to be healed. Maybe some patterns of how you speak about yourself, the love that you are. And once this aligns, once you're able to connect that bridge, your past self is saying, Love yourself deeply. Self-love is the bridge. And when you, that bridge is set, that, that gift can come through. If you're struggling with some of your heart wounds, I'm going to list the rainbow bridge as part of the activation for you, my dear pile number three. I love tapping into your past self. Pile number three, you have a very... Um, I feel, you know, like you're going to be on an initiation path. Your past self wants you to align, energetically align, so you can receive this. And it, it's literally giving you step-by-step -step and guidance so you can build that bridge and get that 
energy alignment and transmission. There's something here. You're, if, I can't wait for you to receive this. This, is, this feels really cool. And I wouldn't be surprised that this is going to culminate, you know, um, with the full moon, November 15. And then there's going to be some review and some, you know, craftsmanship, self-mastery around that gift. And then, you know, the phase between December 16 to January 8th, uh, we're going to go back direct out of the retrograde. And this is where I feel this is going to be grounded and anchored. Yeah, it feels like a great Christmas present. I don't know why. I am saying this, but you guys, this is what I feel. So, okay. All right. Then we have the seed. Ooh, I love this card. Ooh, so many patterns with you. So much sacred geometry. Is your gift connected to sacred geometry and understanding certain patterns? Hmm. Let's see. And Eros. <laughs> What's interesting, remember how I, I talked about the words? We have lips, we have mouth, and we have a gem. Gem, it's the pressure. Pearls is also some type, it's not really pressure, it's more irritation, rubbing, constant irritation. So there's something here about your path that might have helped you to forge this perfect alignment in this time and space for you to manifest and receive that gift whenever you're watching this. Yes, it's for a particular time frame, but whenever you're receiving this, this is going to be in alignment. Yeah. All right, let's see. I don't know why, but I feel like there's something here at the bottom. Usually it's a shadow. Okay, the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. let me see let me tap into this you know what's interesting because I, I put it in the shadow the knight of wands is the time of the summer so the seasons here are cancer leo and virgo did something happen in that past season, that past summer season, or a past summer that may have been part of something that broke your heart? I don't know. It's not going to be for everyone, but I feel that maybe something happened around those seasons, okay? And it might have been what created a disharmony, a misalignment, disalignment, disallowing, disconnect, separation, okay? And your past self is calling you back to that connection. It's calling you back into that connection. Let's see here. I feel it. Maybe some of you, um, I feel that maybe you put a lot of effort into something. It could have been a project. It could have been manifesting something. It could have been a relationship, a timeline, something you foresaw, you know, that you wanted to manifest. And if it didn't pan out, that could have disaligned, misaligned. But here I'm feeling that your past self is saying, you know, the things that did not work out, whether it's relationship or project, there was a reason for it because you needed the lessons that those disappointments brought to you so you could receive it. But we need to make sure that you're not carrying any more of those subconscious heart wounds, okay? And especially uh, how you speak about it because the, every word plants a seed that creates a world in itself. Words create worlds. Very important here. Message from your past self. 
Look at this, releasing the past. You can't be more clear than this. Emerging, transforming, energies transmuted, which is so interesting because those are messages from your past self. And your past self is saying, you know, heal the parts of us, of you, that feels this, I don't know why the word disappointment keeps on coming, coming, you know. Um, and some of you, they could have been more than one situation. And look at this, this alignment of light. Once you let go and surrender, this will support you. If you have a hard time surrendering, I have another frequency for you that's called surrender is the portal. You know, according to, you know, when I do those readings, I see not every message is for everyone, but the ones that sound and resonate true. If you're someone that has a hard time letting go of some past emotional attachment to certain situation that occurred, this will disallow you to bridge, to create that bridge with your past self that here, it's not the past self of that painful experience. It's the past self that I feel is more ancient, that is connected to all of your gifts, that might be more of the, you know, uh, south node there's something that wants to be retrieved at this time this is exactly where we have the current placement for saturn saturn is connected to the root so you're really pile number three in the perfect time for this specific healing your past self is saying it and i'm saying it you know through what i'm saying and seeing for you okay let's get some more guidance okay can we get some more guidance for pile number three, messages from the past self, a little bit more um, clarity if we can. Yeah, see, look at this, justice. I feel that, Did, wait a second, it's so funny because I want to talk and then there's just things that stop me. Look at the shadow. Your shadow wants to speak. It's not even just your past self that is wanting to come through. It's a part of you that maybe you haven't acknowledged. And that probably is the part of you that felt this pain, those heartbreaks. You know, I've seen, let me share. I don't know why I want to share this, but I'm going to share it. I've been doing social media for 10 plus years. And I remember that I started with, you know, I was doing a lot of nutrition, personal training. Was Those were some of my degrees and things that I had, that I was doing. Um, and then it shifted as I spiritually awakened. I remembered so many things. Tarot came back or, you know, everything. Um, but I remember that every time I tried to build an edifice, and I was so sure that it was the right thing, okay? Just the same way when I was, uh, you know, a teen. I wanted to be a musician, a singer. I went to college for it. And I had those big dreams and hopes. And I experienced it. I was professional for 10 years. But I hated the business. I hated the touring, the nightlife. I just, it was not a match for my soul. And I was disappointed Things always kind of like I built up things and then they just kind of fell through. And then again, and and I was like at some point very frustrated with, <laughs> with this, okay? And what I've learned from that shadow and from connecting to many different versions of the higher self, the past, the future, was that when it, it was different skills that I needed to be exactly in alignment with certain gifts that needed to come through. I needed to reactivate the music because that's how I have now music to support all this type of readings. I needed to remember, uh, you know, the, the nutrition and the medical aspect of, of sports medicine so I could do the cosmic energy sessions. So I would know which pressure point to use and type of breath work. I needed the stamina for it. So there was a lot of things that, you know, I thought that was it, that was, that was it, but it wasn't because it kept on becoming something more. And this is what I feel for you, that you're becoming more. 
but you need first to shed because there's a lot of shedding through Scorpio season and this is when it's starting. Shedding the labels and the attachment and the disappointment, all those lower energies because it's keeping you um, from being in balance. Okay, and I love this because uh, this is going to help your yin and your yang, this type of energy. You're really pile number three. I feel, I feel you're going to be so happy with sticking through this phase. Okay, just you're going to get it. You're going to start understanding it. Oh, that makes sense. Maybe I had to learn this so I could uh, get a little bit of that information and get a little bit of that information. Okay, the things that did not fully uh, manifest as whatever you thought it was, it was because that's all you needed from that timeline, from that knowledge, okay? I, again, I don't know for who that is and might be for a lot of people, but I really feel that's something that your soul wants you to understand and the only way for you to go further and understand at a higher level what your past and what your past abilities can create it was from all those different divergence and detours, okay? So be still with that process. Uh, find your balance with that process. You know, that's how I, I, once I understood this, I was actually, there was a certain calmness because I was just knowing that if it's meant to be in this form, then it will stick through time and space. But if it wasn't, then I knew there was something that I had to shift. And to shift it, I had to listen. So there might be something about listening here. Look. Listen. Silence. You need, you need, you need. It. Oh, this is so funny. Look, covering the mouth. Some of you got to watch out your words. Okay, I can't help, but the ones that have um, access to my YouTube uh, star membership, all levels, okay? Removing X's and hexes. You have a lot here that is going on that needs to be released, okay? Uh, hexes and X's. This is such a great frequency, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm using it in the cosmic energy session. Yeah, I am. Interesting. Wow, that is so cool. I love this for you. Because I, I feel that you're going to really enjoy what comes after this type of initiation from your past self. Listen. Be still. Quiet your mind so you can, you know, stop the noise. Yeah, look at this. Five of Swords. Gossip past energies. This is interesting because um, those are the first degrees from zero to 10 in Aquarius. Do we have Aquarius here? Yeah. Okay, what I'm hearing from your past self is that the work that you're doing right now and what you're going to be able to channel is to prepare you for when Pluto is going to move in the first degrees of Aquarius. This is going to be those degrees that speak of the law of resonance. This is going to be really, really big. Look at this. I have to I'll show you. 432. This is the frequency associated uh, to the Rainbow Bridge. There's going to be so many synchronicities that are going to show you how you're starting to be more and more in alignment with that activation. You're not going to miss it, but you might have to go through a phase of just uh, slowing down, silencing a little bit more so you can harness that phase. Okay, that's the first phase that's coming up. Look at this, observing. Observing your emotional waters. Yeah. Yeah. Pile number three, I am really inviting you to stick with it, okay? Because you're going to be so happy when you're allowing yourself to release some of those past patterns, quiet the mind and quiet the speech, okay? And allow the, uh, the law of vibration and the law of resonance rebalance the scales of justice, 
because November 19th, okay, we will still be in that phase. That's when Pluto is going to go uh, direct in Aquarius. You're going to want to be, um, to be in that energy space. I feel this is going to be important. You're going to have a lot of higher teachings from your past self, from your probably abilities, from your self note. Some of you, maybe you don't know much about your self note. I would suggest to uh, look into it, to deep dive in it, to look at this uh, zodiac placement for yourself. Mm -hmm. If you wanted, you might look at your zodiac sign for your self node and watch this reading according to your self node. I didn't say that to any other piles, but maybe there's another message from the zodiac placement of your self node. That's what I have for you, my dear pile number three. I am sending you many blessings and much love and light. And remember, please like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. Namaste.